спасибо. And the foundation uh, keeps authentic uh, pieces of cosmonauts. To tradition, I want uh, to greet you in one of the halls of our museum. Stalin was in the territory of the uh, headquarters, but a year later, after his tragic death, as you remember, he died in, on the 27th of March, 19. 68. Scene changed. The furniture was taken first from his authentic study and it occupies the cosmonaut, well, Helen Sharman, performed the mission in 1991. It was made almost 25 years ago. Those who work together. So, the of the training center, then 55 years since uh, origin age is there. Some memo replica brought from space by Helen Sharman. Have a look. Well, here you see the pennants on the flags and the colors which were taken by her and then delivered from space. The polar androgynous docking peripheral unit. And at the background, you see the flags, flown space flags. That's traditional. Just on the top of all the news which take place in space uh, for the eight days and nights. So that was the beginning, then together with Alda and Yuri, and then one more call, uh, Helena and uh, uh, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right here in the middle, you see in the collection, and Soyuz transportation vehicle, one Soyuz. <laughs> And both crews together, please. 
Сейчас нас еще польют. Сейчас, пожалуйста, внимание. Attention, please. Um, you know, it's a, it's kind of an interesting and surreal experience right now. We're about two weeks from launch. We're getting ready to leave for Baikonur on Friday uh, here two days from now. Um, and, and really that's the, the last stage, the final stage before we crawl, get into the rocket and, and lift off for the International Space Station. Um, so I think that we're all ready to fly. We've been delayed a couple of months because of a progress mishap. Um, but we got to spend that time resting and spending that time with family and, and doing a little final preparation. So, you know, when the, when the rocket is ready, I think we're going to be ready to go. Very excited. This is, uh, this is kind of a lifelong dream for me that's coming true. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to get up there and get to work. Uh, it has been a tremendous experience these past two and a half years getting to, to train with uh, Oleg Kononenko, who's my um, Russian cosmonaut uh, crewmate and is the, the commander of our Soyuz spacecraft, and then also training with uh, Kimia Yui, who is a Japanese astronaut um, and one of my classmates. So we started astronaut candidate training together. Um, funny enough, we spent most of our astronaut candidate training uh, in the same small group going through various disciplines. So I've been training with Kimia for a long time. He's a very good friend, and I'm so excited to get to, to ex experience this space flight um, with those two uh, crewmates. Um, I'm going to learn a lot. We have uh, Scott Kelly, who's doing a one-year mission right now and is going to have the most time in space of any American, and uh, Gennady Padalka, who's uh, uh, you know, already beaten the, the all-time record for, for time in space. So those two guys, with, and along with the other folks that are up there, um, it's going to be a tremendous learning experience. And you know, this is not any sort of a personal accomplishment to, to get to do this job or to get to go to the space station. There's so many people involved, um, not just in training us to get ready to fly. You know, I've had hundreds of, of different instructors through all the various disciplines at all the various space centers um, helping me prepare to fly. But really throughout my life, just this path that has taken me here uh, to, to get to this opportunity, teachers, instructors, mentors, and, and colleagues that have uh, really been a part of this journey. And I'm so grateful for that.